Hello. Uh, can I get your attention for a little while? And I will happily wait until I actually can be heard. So, uh, is there anyone from the Norwegian Pirate Party here? Okay. I, I am one of they, them approached me, actually. Yeah, they are so there is somebody there from the Norwegian Pirate Party. He was here earlier. Yeah. Okay, uh, then they will have to hand in the documents when they arrive. So, now I should have settled all countries except Norway, Estonia and the Netherlands, and as far as I understand, that is about to be solved. Uh, so, we will hand out the voting cards. In accordance with the number of votes, every country should have um, in accordance with the statutes. Uh, I might also want to start by saying, hi, my name is Matthias Bernemalm, I'm usually called MOB, uh, and I'm at this moment representing the offices of the Swedish MEPs, which are functioning as the board in regards to this founding coun council of the European Pirate Party. Um, I apologize for the sort of disarray, but I'm, I'm quite sure we will be back on track shortly. So, we will go in, in by number of votes. The German Pirate Party, you should have four delegates, and also four voting cards. So it should be Marcus, Fabio, Justus, and Jens. And I'm pretty sure Justus can take the cards for all four of you. Then we have the Swedish Pirate Party, uh, three votes, two delegates, Anton Nordenfur and Josef Kollentine. Then we have the Icelandic Pirate Party, two votes, two delegates, Thorgnir Thorodsen and Arnaldur Sigur, Sigur Darsson, probably something like that. <laughs> two votes. For the rest, there will be, the rest of the ordinary members, there will be one vote. So, the Polish Pirate Party, Radoslav Pietron and Tomasz Slovinski are delegates. One vote. Uh, the Pirates de Catalonia, uh, Muriel Riviera Esteva and Dario Castane are delegates. Confederación Pirata, uh, Lorena Müller and Juan Esteve are delegates. Uh, Parti Pirat, uh, Piratenparti, Belgium, uh, Paul Bosso and Kevin Hasser, delegates. Piratska Strana, Czech Republic, Marketa Gregorova, delegates. Uh, let me continue. Uh, Partidul Pirat, Romania. Claudio Marginian and Claudia Marginian, delegates. One vote. Uh, Piratenpartei, Austria. Andreas Xak and Juliana Okropiridis, uh, delegates. I'm terribly sorry for all names I'm mangling. Uh, something, something, something in letters I can't even read from Greece, Greek Pirate Party. <laughs> Uh, Antonius Mutakis and Stathis uh, Leivaditis Leiva are delegates. Stathis. Uh, Partito Pirata, Italy, Giuseppe Cosalter and Daniele Monteleone, delegates. Piratska Stranka, Croatia, Masakorek, delegates. Parti Pirat, France, Gabriel Weisenberger and Clement Beckert, delegates. And I suppose it's Parti Pirate as well in Switzerland. Uh, Alexis and Stefan Tani delegates. And I forgot Alexis' last name, but I will fix that later. Uh, Pirati Pulu, Finland. Raoul Plomer and Artur Lampila delegates. One vote. I've I've also been asked to ask you that all delegates should be in the first three rows, and if you could find some paper and make a nine nine name plate with your name and your country and put uh, in the little stand for for names, 
in front of you, it will be very helpful for the people up here. So, is there any country feeling that they are... Sorry, young pirates of Europe, they are... Uh, have the status of observer member, but right of ordinary members, and they have the right to two votes. Uh, Paula Roth and Lotta Söderholm. So, is there now any country who feel they should be delegates? For the name signs, they're uh, like, uh, like this, they're, uh, I don't know, Schlitz? Just please put your name tags in the row in front of you. Um, you don't have one? No. Tina Koenig, please wave. Yes, and I'm happy to announce that we have a few extra delegates. We have... Matt, uh, do we have someone handing out the delegate cards? Yes, yeah. We have... We have Mert Perder from the Estonian Pirate Party. Uh, there. And we have Claude Felten from the Felken from the Luxembourg Pirate Party. And we are still awaiting uh, confirmation from Norway and the Netherlands. I suggest that we proceed with the meeting and that we add them to the list once the documentation is handed in properly. Uh, their assembly. First order of business is to elect functionaries for the meetings. You can't fix that now. Okay. That will be. No. So, first order of business is to elect functionaries of the meeting and then to adopt rules of procedure. Uh, proposals of the of, from the offices of the MEPs is Julia Reda uh, as chair and uh, uh, Yuri as keeper of the minutes. Can we elect these people as functionaries of this meeting? Anyone against? I find in favor. And I don't have something to slam with, so I will just note down that they have been elected and hand over the stage to them. Thank you. Good morning, pirates. Uh, let's found a party. We have uh, rules of procedures that were proposed by the office of Amelia Andersdotter. Um, are there any other rules of procedure? Go away, leave me alone. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be the case. So can we please vote on the rules of procedure? Who is in favor of them? No, it's not good. No, I do have to write this down now. No, I can't. I don't. OK, uh, we will wait for. Um, for the no, keeper of the minutes to, to note down all the delegates before we continue. Can you please switch on your microphone if you're talking? Okay, uh, may I have the attention of all the delegates? This is very important for the minutes. When we have a vote, we are always going to explicitly ask for abstentions. So in each vote, Raise your voting card for something. If you're going to abstain, raise it for abstention. Because we have to note down how each delegation voted. And if everybody is in favor and there are no against and no abstentions, we will not write down each single one. So always raise your voting cards. If you do not raise your voting cards, it might be counted in the wrong way. So if you're going to abstain, raise your card for abstention. Thank you.
press the microphone press button. the microphone button please could you please use the microphones in the stream they have no are sound and they don't know what's okay. happening thank you are there any delegates who are, do not have a seat in the first rows please raise your hands if that is the case okay perfect Are you a delegate? Sorry. Um, yes, I am. As far as we are informed, Norway has not yet registered as a delegate, so you need to register with Matthias Bjarnemann. We registered about three minutes ago, <laughs> so it should be solved pretty soon. So now Norway is also registered as a delegate. Okay, I, I will take the time to announce my team, which is Lara Lemke, who is sitting next to me, and, uh, next to me, and Joachim Bokor, who is in the front row right there. Okay, then we can proceed. Now everybody had a chance to think about how they're going to vote on the rules of procedure. So as I explained, I will ask for the yes votes, the no votes, and then the abstentions. Who is in favor of adopting the rules of procedure? No, 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 you don't. Thank you, who is against? Are you against? No. Who is abstaining? So we have one abstention from France and everybody else is in favor. The rules of procedure are adopted. Now we are adopting the agenda. Who is in favor of adopting the agenda? Thank you, who is against? Any abstentions? No, then the agenda has been unanimously approved. Okay, now we come to the interesting part. The first point on the agenda is a motion by the Pirate Party of Estonia uh, on the reduction of the membership fee. Uh, would the delegate from Estonia very briefly introduce their motion for up to two minutes, please? Uh, well, we had a discussion at our board uh, and then our uh, General Assembly that uh, we will uh, probably only uh, be able to accept to pay uh, membership fees for only a uh, number of pirates in Pirate Party uh, counted with, uh, well, not number of Pirate Party members in euros, basically. Like one euro per member. So you are proposing to set the membership fee for the Pirate Party of, of Estonia to one euro per member. Could you give us a brief estimate of how much that is at the moment? Uh, 60. So there would be 60 at the moment. So the motion is to set the membership fee of Pirate Party of Estonia to one euro per member. Are there any questions? That doesn't seem to be the case. So we can vote on this motion. Who is in favor of setting the membership fee of Pirate Party of Estonia to one euro per member? Please raise your cards if you're in favor. That is Austria and and is this Norway? Norway and Belgium and Finland. And Finland. Okay. Once again, keep your keep your voting cards raised. If you are in favor of setting the Membership fee of the Pirate Party of Estonia to one euro per member. Please raise your voting card if you're in favor and keep it raised until I tell you to put it down. Thank you. Okay. 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 
That's Poland. Croatia. Croatia. And Italy. Italy. So we have Austria, Finland, Norway, Croatia, Belgium, Poland, and Italy. Okay, you may now put your cards down. Who is against this motion? Please raise your voting cards now and keep them raised. So, please keep your voting cards raised. We have France, Romania, Switzerland, four votes from Germany, Greece. Did I miss anybody? No, thanks, then you can take the voting cards down. And who is abstaining? All the others. But that would be everybody else. Thank you. So there were six votes in favor and eight against. That means the motion is rejected. Next point on the agenda is the election of the board. And uh, I will briefly um, explain uh, the procedure of the presentation. And then before we come to the vote, Jochen will also explain the voting system. And I can now announce that we have registered delegates from the Netherlands. Okay, so we will uh, start with the election of the chair, then we will be continuing with the vice chair, then the treasurer, then there will be a vote on whether or not we want additional board members and how many, and then the election of the additional board members if we want any. We will have a presentation of each candidate of up to two minutes. You do not have to uh, take all that time if you don't like to. There will be no questions because all the candidates were known well in advance, so there was a possibility to inform yourselves about the candidates. So we start with the election of the chair. And we have two candidates, that's Amelia Andersdotter, member of Pirate Party Sweden, and Giuseppe Cosalta, member of Pirate Party Italy. Okay, so everybody can uh, see them. Uh, I would ask the uh, candidates to come forward and they can present themselves on stage. Okay. So we start with the presentation of Amelia Andersdotter. Thank you, Madam Chair. It is with great honor that um, I accept the nomination to be uh, chair of the Pirate Parties of the European Union. Um, it is my aspiration to build an inclusive organization for the pirates in Europe. I've been working in the parliament for uh, two and a half years and I have seen the need for political visions to be advanced at the European level by people who have the competences, skills and desire to do so. Um, Europe needs the political visions that we can provide, um, but we need to cooperate across the borders. It is my hope and my aspiration that I can co contribute to this cooperation to build a better future through a European cooperation between pirates. Um, and uh, if you would give me that confidence, I would be happy to accept that. Thank you.
And we continue with the presentation of Giuseppe Casalter. Hi, Adol. As uh, uh, Julia already said, I'm uh, Lanta from the Italian Pirate Party. Mm, probably most of you mm, don't know me because uh, I'm uh, a new face here. But uh, I think we together can change uh, Europe. And uh, I believe uh, cooperation is uh, an important part of all of, the, of this. I believe uh, in uh, democracy. I believe uh, liquid feedback uh, must be an important part of this. And uh, uh, the project we built uh, must be uh, followed by the Euro Liquid project. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Before we come to a vote, I would like Joachim Boko to briefly explain the voting procedures. Good morning. Um, the voting procedure is pretty simple and straightforward. As long as there are a limited number of candidates, we will vote openly on whom to elect. Um, for the cases of the vice chair and the further board members, uh, I, uh, we are going to use uh, approval voting, which is pretty well known to the German pirates. Um, and it's pretty simple. Does everybody know how approval voting works, or do you have questions? How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, was kein Lederecht. <laughs> Um, I've prepared ballots that look like this. There are a number of names on it. And you have the chance to approve of a candidate. You have as many votes per sheet as there are candidates. So any candidate you approve of, you can give your vote. Um, I will hand out um, ballot sheets as many as there are um, votes in the room. Uh, so delegations with more votes than others get more ballot sheets. Um, at the end of the ballot sheet, uh, there is the possibility to uh, mark your delegation, which uh, is good uh, for you to do, so we can record the, your voting. Um, <clears throat> the person is elected who uh, achieves over 50% approval and if more than uh, people who need to be elected get over 50%, the persons with the most approval are elected. Any further questions? <laughs> So now I eagerly wait for the first election and then I can print real ballots. <laughs> um. Okay, so we will now test this in real life with the election for the chair. This is pretty simple. There are two candidates and there is approval voting. That means you could in principle vote for both candidates, but this is probably not, uh, well, it wouldn't make any difference. So in this case, it's very, very simple. You just vote for one candidate or for the other, but if you want to, you can also vote for both or neither. And, but please be aware, if neither candidates gets more than 50%, then we have to vote again until a candidate gets 50%. Clear? Perfect. 
So I will uh, call upon the votes for Amelia Andersdotter, and then I will call upon the votes for Giuseppe Cosalta. And please keep your voting cards raised until I tell you to take them down. So I would first like to have the votes in favor of electing Amelia Andersdotter as chair. Please uh, keep your voting cards raised because since it's approval voting, we have to note down how each delegation voted. Okay, so we have found that all the delegations are in favor of Amelia Andersdotter. If this is not the case, please uh, let us know now, and you may put down your voting cards. Now, I would like to have uh, the voting cards for delegations in favor of electing Giuseppe Cosalta as chair. That's Italy. Okay. So that makes uh, 28 votes in favor of Amelia Andersdotter and one vote in favor of Giuseppe Cosalta. So Amelia Andersdotter is elected as chair of the Pirate Party of Europe. Do you accept the vote? Thank you for the uh, trust that you extend. I'm very honored. Okay, we have a chair, fantastic. So, we may now proceed with the elections of vice chair. I will first read out the candidates and would like to uh, ask the candidates to come forward in the order in which I uh, read out their names and this will be the order for the presentation. That's Anders Klepper, Cedric Levieux, Fabian Plaza Miranda, Giuseppe Cosalta, Martina Pöser, Maxime Rouquet, and Paul Bossu. Is Anders Kleppe here? Okay, then we start with the first presentation. Please, all the other candidates, find their way forward. I will uh, read out the names once again, and uh, because I'm not seeing a lot of people coming to the front right now. <laughs> Anders Kleppe, Cédric Levieux, Fabian Plaza Miranda, Giuseppe Cosalta, Martina Pöser, Maxime Rouquet, and Paul Bossu, please come forward. And we start with the presentation of Anders Kleppe. You have two minutes. Uh, yeah, since we uh, had, we were stopped like by police uh, from all the uh, sides of the EU Parliament, so we got a bit late. Uh, but I'm nominated by the Norwegian uh, Pirate Party uh, as a co-chairperson. Uh, uh, and since probably not all of you have, uh, have read the presentation I, I have on uh, uh, the site that was set up by the German Pirate Party, uh, I'll just uh, briefly uh, uh, tell it like this. I was... Uh, among the people who founded the Norwegian Pirate Party uh, two years ago. Uh, we didn't get any, uh, any representatives uh, in the parliament in Norway. Uh, my profession is uh, an economist. I have a master in uh, international business uh, and marketing and uh, digital uh, strategy. Uh, and uh, the thing is, uh, we have had, yeah, what Amelia said uh, is, is what is important uh, for me as well. First of all, we need to get this democracy system uh, uh, in place so we can actually engage everyone in Europe uh, in politics, not only the elected uh, representatives. 
And uh, uh, the last thing I want to say is that uh, the European pirates uh, need a non-EU uh, uh, member uh, in uh, the board. Uh, and as far as I know, I'm the only one. <laughs> Uh, we tried to uh, get several others uh, uh, to uh, get candidates. Or, That's two uh, minutes. No, no minutes, but we didn't make it. So, thanks a lot, and good 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 luck to all the others. The next candidate is Cedric Levieux. Cedric is not here. Then we continue with Fabian Plaza Miranda. It's not here either, perfect. <laughs> then we continue. Yeah. Yes, you may present in his place. So this is the proxy for Fabian Plaza Miranda. You have two minutes. Hello to everybody. I'm not Fabian Miranda, of course, <laughs> but I'm, he's my colleague in Confederación Pirata. I'm coming here to, to tell something about him to all of you. Fabian is a lawyer. He's a specialist in international law and IT law. Uh, he was preparing the exam for Spanish diplomatic services. And he was, uh, he is a master degree, he has a master degree in studies, uh, studies of Western Russia. Uh, Fabian speaks many language, languages, as Spanish, Catalan, uh, French, English, and many others. He's very fluent about it. And he's the second candidate of Confederación Pirata uh, in Spanish list for the coming European elections uh, in, in May. And he is supported by, by, by Confederación Pirata of Spain and also from, from Catalonia. So, thank you. Um, thank you. The next one is Giuseppe Casalta. Hi again. I'm uh, I'm here to um, candidate as a vice chairman. Um, I think uh, I can do uh, something for this uh, European Pirate Party, and that's why I accepted the Italian uh, vote on liquid feedback. Um, I think. Uh, uh, as I already said, that uh, we should be more equal and that uh, we can change things together. So, um, I'm here if you believe in me. The next candidate is Martina Pusa. Hi everyone, my name is Martina Pöser. Many of you already know me. I'm from the German Pirate Party and I've been delegated to set up this organization for the German Pirate Party. So I've been working with many of you for the last two years to make this happen. And I hope to continue uh, to do the work and set this organization to really work and not just setting it up as an organization that's there, but to make us work together on our common goals and um, that will, there will be still a lot of work to do. And I hope I can be instrumental to, well, help you out. I'm not good with <laughs> this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. The next candidate is Maxime Rouquet. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Maxime Rouquet. I'm from Pirate Party of France. Uh, I've uh, had various responsibilities in Pirate Party of France, so I think I could uh, use my experience uh, for Pirate Party of Europe. 
some of you might have uh, seen me at uh, previous PPU or PPI or other conferences. Uh, right now, I have uh, no responsibilities in Pirate Party of France, so I would be uh, fully available for Pirate Party of Europe if you decide to uh, elect me as chairperson, vice chairperson or board member. Um, and uh, I think I, I could uh, help a lot the chairperson uh, to write, press, communicate, or things like that. And, uh, but I think there are a lot of very good candidates, so it's up to you to decide uh, the best. Thank you. And last but not least, Paul Bossu. Uh, so, hi everyone. So first of all, uh, I want to thank everyone here to be there. Uh, the Pirate Party Belgium uh, has proposed Maxime Rouquet as vice chairman. So I will uh, say it again. So we, we push Maxime. Uh, I'm also a candidate for the board, so I don't care about it. I think we need someone from Belgium or from Brussels in the board. I don't care about the position. I just need to say that. About my motivation, I'm deeply motivated in the European Pirate Project. Uh, I think you know that. Uh, yes, that's all. So to, be, to have a Belgium guy or girls in, in the board, it could be easy for the, for the staffs. Vis or board, I don't care. And I push Maxim. Thank you. And uh, Cédric Levieux has also found a proxy who will now make a presentation. Hi, so I will speak in name of Cédric Levieux. Uh, he's in national coordination in France is two years. He worked um, a lot in mutualization of all uh, our forces. And um, he just acting in real life uh, for the pirate purpose. So just want to, to make it uh, in the EU, European. Thank you. Okay, these are all the candidates for the position of vice chair. As you probably know, we will be electing two vice chairs. So uh, each delegation should make up their minds about uh, who to vote for. Um, Jochen is right now distributing the voting sheets. Please make sure you write down the name of your delegation on the voting sheets because this is an open vote. We're just doing it on paper because it's easier to count with this many candidates and more than one position to fill. While we are waiting, I will once again explain. This is an approval voting. You may vote for all the candidates you approve of. The ca two candidates with the highest vote will be elected if they have 50% or more of the vote. If only one candidate has 50% or more of the vote, they are elected and there will be a second round. Okay, I uh, uh, need to correct. They need to have more than 50% of the vote, not 50% or more. So if a candidate has exactly 50%, they are not elected. So if there is only one person with more than 50% of the vote in the first voting round, there will be a second voting round just to fill the second position. Okay, everybody should have their... Uh, their voting sheets now, please fill them out and hand them in, in front with Jochen. And I also announce that uh, the chair has two more aides to be helping with the administration of uh, the vote counting. That's Christina König and Leonard Bellersen. Is there anybody who has not handed in their voting sheets? If you have not handed in your voting sheets, please raise your hands now, otherwise your vote will not be counted.
Okay, the last voting sheet has been turned in. That means the voting for vice chair is now closed. While the votes are being counted, we continue with the presentation of the candidates for treasurer. The candidates are Bastian, Florian Zumkeller-Quast, and Radek Pietron. I would like the three of them to come forward for their presentations. And we begin with the presentation of Bastian. Each candidate has two minutes to present. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm always the first one. Uh, good morning to everybody. I want to keep it short, as many of you know me very well. I'm applying for election as a treasurer since uh, it was my first PPI General Assembly Chairman's job in 2011 in Friedrichshafen. I've accompanied a lot of international pirate movements, um, assemblies, and I'm supporting the international pirate movement continuously, um, such in, let's say, Prague, Aarau, Barcelona, Rome, Manchester, Paris, Warsaw, Luxembourg. I have part participated in several online meetings uh, for developing the P PPU statutes, as you know, and the PPU manifesto. Financially, I'm independent, so I could pay my expenses by my own, and uh, it will be not be in, on the cash flow of the Pirate Party, Party Europe. So it will be an extraordinary challenge to organize all necessary structures for our new PPEU. So we worked for a lot, and it will be for me a great honor to um, take this task. Um, for this work, an experienced battle horse is needed. I'm a professional accountant, so I know what the task means. And I'm a guy, I'm a guy who uh, can manage all the things you need. One more thing will be a challenge also, namely to establish the second chamber so that each pirate can participate in the PPU. To unite the international pirates movement is a challenging goal, so that will make us stand together. Europe should be a continent without borders, pirates should work together with our borders. So trust me. Thanks. The next candidate to present themselves is Florian Zumkeller-Quast. Hello. Some of you might know me, some of you might not know me yet, so I'll shortly introduce myself or say some facts about myself. I got some experience at founding organizations and setting up organizations as I was part of the growing Young Pirates uh, organization in Germany, as well as I was involved in the founding of Young Pirates of Europe that was founded last summer. I got an uh, experience in finance and economics since I got a degree in economics and uh, IT. I'm also studying law currently, so I got used to handle with law, and I'm kind of used to dig myself into new things, so also Belgium law will not, not be a problem, although I'm German. And I got experience as uh, four years as a board member, two years on state level in Germany, in one of the bigger states, and two years as chairman of the Young Pirates of Germany, which la my last term just ended last weekend. I think I did reliable work as a board member in those boards and got things done. I'd be happy to get things done for PPU, and uh, that's why I would be happy if you elect me to be administrative backbone of PPU to share political pirate visions across Europe. Thank you. And last but not least, Radek Pitron.
Good morning, everyone. I'm very grateful that I can sit here with all of you because we started founding uh, PPEU like almost three years ago in Prague. Uh, then it was very hard. We had like uh, maybe 20 people that wanted to do it, but day after day, we managed to do what we finished now. And it's a great place. Personally, uh, I would be a treasurer uh, because I have uh, quite a lot of experience with finance. I'm a professional accountant. I was, uh, mm, I was uh, working also as a uh, financial advisor and a stock market broker. Uh, so I think uh, I can do uh, everything I, I learn uh, from my professional and from my job to use it as a uh, treasurer of uh, Pirate Party uh, EU. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. These are all the candidates for the Office of Treasurer. I will check with uh, the vote counting if there's a result for the Vice Chair yet. We have the results of the election for Vice Chair. There is one person who has been elected with more than 50% of the votes. There's another with exactly 50%, but since there need to be more than 50%, we're going to have a second round of elections for the vice chair. Uh, the, though the voting sheets need to be prepared, um, we will probably do the vote of treasurer first, as this can be done by show of hands. I will now read out the results in ascending order. There was one vote for Cédric Levieux. There were two votes for Giuseppe Cosalter. There were nine votes for Anders Kleppe, 10 votes for Paul Bossu, 12 votes for Fabian Plaza Miranda, 14 votes for Maxime Roquet, and 23 votes for Martina Pöser. That means Martina is elected. <laughs> Martina, do you accept? Do you accept the vote? <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I hope I will do it. Okay. okay, the voting sheets for the second round of uh, vice chair are ready. So I will read out uh, the candidates. May I have your attention, please? The German delegation, thank you. Okay, so second round of voting for vice chair. The candidates are Anders Kleppe, Cédric Levieux, Fabian Miranda, Giuseppe Cosalta, Maxime Rouquet, and Paul Bossu. Again, this is approval voting. You may vote for any of them. There is one position to be filled and the person which has more than 50% of the vote and the most votes will be elected as vice chair. Uh, Julia? Julia? Uh, if we need to communicate about this vote, it's now or never, I suppose. If I want to, to ask people who want to vote for me to vote for Maxime, it's now or never. That's it? Um, I would like uh, the candidates not to uh, make additional uh, okay. motions uh, to, to the assembly. Uh, each candidate has a chance to present themselves and I would like all the delegates to pay close attention. But um, I know this is a very difficult situation that each of you has a working microphone in front of you. So I will, <laughs> I know it's very tempting to use it. I will just like to ask you to uh, act responsibly with this great responsibility of having a microphone that cannot be shut off by me. It's very hard for me to. This is your last chance to turn in your voting sheet. Is there any delegation that has not turned in their voting sheets? Please raise your hands now. 
That's not the case, so the voting is closed. <laughs> now, while the vote is being counted, may I have your attention, please? Uh, the chair of the meeting, which is me, I propose that while the votes are being counted, we proceed with the election of treasurer because there are no candidates running for both offices. However, if any delegation feels that they need to know the result of the vote for vice chair before voting on the treasurer, you may object to this. So I ask the delegates, if any of the delegates object to us voting for the treasurer right now. Please raise your voting cards if you object to this. Yes? Okay, then we wait. One procedural question, because uh, formally it's an open voting what we do, even though we use the sheets. Uh, would it be possible to somehow really present not only how much votes the uh, different candidates have, but I don't know, to put it somewhere online, the real results, because it's an important information not only to know who has m how many votes, but also to know for which candidates do the different delegations vote. So maybe we can talk if we get into a tie now or something. Thank you. Okay, so all the exact votes, which delegation voted how, will be in the minutes. However, um, presenting this takes a lot longer than the results of the vote. And since we have very limited time, we're supposed to be finished by now. Um, it will be difficult to do the presentation in the meantime. Is it a problem uh, if you know the exact results after the conference? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's during the conference, so it would be if it's in the minutes anyway. I don't know if the minutes are publicly available, but maybe it okay. would be helpful if you copy it to a public pad, just the voting results, so everyone can see how many for whom the different delegations have voted. Thank you. Okay, we will publish them in a pad as soon as possible, but we will not uh, delay the proceedings for this. Is there a second delegate from Catalonia present? Okay, so we can proceed with the vote. Does the delegate from Catalonia... Okay. Never mind, there's only one delegate from Czech Republic, correct? Okay, sorry. Then we wait. We have a result for the vice chair. Um, <clears throat> congratulations, we actually do have a valid result. There were 28 ballots cast, all of them were valid. Um, Cedric Levieux and Giuseppe Cosalter each had one vote. Uh, Anders Kleppe had eight votes on him. Uh, Fabian Plaza Miranda, 12. Uh, Paul Boussou, 13, and Maxime Rouquet, 16, which is a majority. <laughs> Maxime, do you want to do the job? Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, we proceed with the vote for treasurer. I will reiterate, the three candidates are Bastian, Florian Zumkeller-Quast, and Radek Pitron. I will now ask for all the delegations. First, 
all the delegations that vote for Bastian, then for Florian, then for Radek. And I would like all the delegations to keep their voting cards raised for each candidate until I tell them to put them down. Ready? Okay, uh, I will. Okay, we have prepared a pad where you can look at uh, the exact voting results. They may not be formatted very well, but I think you can deal with it. The URL is the URL is piratenpad, like pirate pad, but with an N after the pirate. Piratenpad.de slash p slash ppeu minus results. Everything in small letters. Germans. Germans. <laughs> okay. Can you so repeat? One more time. Piratenpad.de slash p slash ppeu minus results. If you didn't catch it, ask your neighbor. Okay, we now proceed with uh, the vote for the treasurer. This is approval voting. You may vote for as many candidates as you'd like. We start with Bastian, then Florian, then Radek. Now, all the delegates who are in favor of electing Bastian as treasurer, please raise your voting cards and keep them raised. We see Austria, Estonia, Italy, Catalonia, and Spain. You may put your voting cards down. Now I would like all the delegates in favor of electing Florian Zumkeller-Quast as treasurer, please raise your voting cards now and keep them raised. So we see Norway, Austria, Iceland, both of them, Luxembourg, four votes from Germany, and two votes from Young Pirates of Europe. This is Luxembourg. This is Luxembourg. And who are you? Finland. Sorry, I'm sorry. It was Finland, not Norway. Okay, once again, we have Finland, two votes from Iceland, Luxembourg, four votes from Germany, and two votes from Young Pirates of Europe, Austria. and Austria, sorry. Now you may put your voting cards down, and I would like all the delegates who are in favor of electing Radek Pitron as treasurer to raise their voting cards and keep them raised. We have 
France, Austria, Norway, Romania, two from Finland, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Croatia, four from Germany, Belgium, Poland, Greece, three from Sweden, Catalonia, Spain, and Czech Republic. You Sorry, I said uh, Finland when I meant Iceland. Uh, you may now put your voting cards down. I am confused about Scandinavian countries. I apologize. <laughs> you may put it down. Jens, you may also put your voting card down. While we are counting, I will already um, call out the names for additional board members so they can uh, be ready for their presentation. Uh, candidates for additional board member are Anders Kleppe, Antonis Mutakis, Cedric Levieux, Christian Boulomac, Dario Castagne, Denis Royo, Fabian Miranda, Gilles Bordelet, Gregory Engels, Luis Cuerdo, Mart Pöder, Maxime, no, he's been elected, Paul Bossu, Statis Levaditis, Stevan Cilkovic and Tomasz Slovinski. I've been told that Stevan Cilkovic has uh, withdrawn his candidacy, is that correct? I will assume it's correct until yes. I hear otherwise. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, these uh, candidates for board members to be ready for their presentations. The first ones will be Anders Kleppe and Antonis Mutakis. And we have a result of the vote of treasurer. Um, there were four votes for Bastian, 12 votes for Florian and 21 votes for Radek. That is a majority for Radek. Radek, do you accept the vote? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Then we proceed. Uh, before we have uh, the presentations of the candidates for board member, we will uh, have to vote on how many additional board members there should be. There is a possibility of between zero and five. Um, the acting board has uh, made the proposal of electing five. Are there any counter proposals by any of the delegates? That doesn't seem to be the case. So we're just going to have a quick vote on this uh, for formal reasons. Who is in favor of electing five board members? Okay. Thank you. Who is against? Are you against Estonia? Estonia? Okay. Any abstentions? We have abstentions from Croatia and Young Pirates of Europe. Okay, um, so it has been decided that we're going to elect five additional board members. And we start with the presentation of Anders Kleppe, and I would like Antonis Mutakis to be ready to uh, make a presentation afterwards. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'll make it very short now. Um, uh, Norway, uh, even on behalf of Iceland and a lot of other uh, representatives there, that are non-EU members. Uh, I believe uh, uh, to show that we will be a fully European party, uh, we need at least one representative uh, in the board uh, that from a non-EU member country. Uh, and that's basically all. Uh, yeah, uh, and further on, uh, I forgot to mention, mention that uh, last time. I'm uh, doing a lot of uh, administrative work 
both for the PPI and has been doing for PPEU since last summer. Thank you and good luck to all the candidates. Next candidate to present himself is Atonis Motakis and I would like Cedric Levieux to be ready. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Antonios Motakis. I am from the Pirate Party of Greece. Uh, I've been a member of the Pirate Party of Greece uh, since the founding process started by collecting signatures, so that's about the time I joined. And I've been representing uh, Greece in the PPU meetings uh, so far. Um, the reason I'm here is um, because I think that basically everyone here, all pirates, are involved in this organization in this movement because they want to maximize the impact they want to have in the world. And the PPU Foundation has inspired me that we can actually do it. So I'd like to have the chance to be more involved with this uh, as much as possible. Um, I am one of the two Greek candidates today. Uh, we'd, we'd really like to have uh, the Mediterranean influence as much as possible in the PPU board. So we decided uh, in the party to put two choices for you in the menu. So, thank you very much. Thank you. The next candidate is Cédric Levieux, and I'd like Christian Boulomac to be ready. Cédric is the one who wasn't here? Don't you Please don't use your microphones. We are uh, aware that he is not here. I would like um, Jochen to be able to make a statement. Hi. Um, you've decided to elect five board members out of... Um, <clears throat> a lot of candidates. Uh, the first election for vice chair showed me that... Uh, a lot of you don't have very much experience with approval voting. Um, if you distribute more crosses on the sheet of paper in front of you, the um, possibility that more people get elected rises. So if we want to get finished with one um, round of election now, it would be helpful if you do more than five crosses, if you can somehow uh, find enough candidates, you can trust enough. That's all, just, um, that's how approval works. If you do less crosses, then people have to be elected. We're gonna have a next round. Okay, so. Uh, if everybody just makes five crosses, it will probably take a lot of rounds before we have five elected uh, board members. We will continue with the presentation of Christian Boulomac. We've already heard one from Cedric Levieux, and I would like Dario Castagne to be ready afterwards. Hello. My name is Christian Bulumak. I come from Romania. It's one of the countries which is usually in the first five spots in internet speeds in the world. This is because we had a free legislation or a freer possibility to do things in Romania in the 90s. The result of that was that we had a lot of more people interested in the internet, informing themselves, the culture absorption increased, and six years later, the government decided that it should be harder to make a party because smart people, educated people, can make choices. So they made it harder to make a party. Then we start heard, hearing that the EU is imposing on us some limitations on the copyright, on our right to travel or our, our right to work. What can a Romanian do? Well, it goes to the EU and see if it is like that. Well, it is kind of like that. EU still needs a lot of work to be done, and I think that the European pirates are here to do it. I am currently a policy advisor in the European Parliament, working on telecom and space issue. So if you saw me yesterday shuttling people from the entrance to here, it's because I'm working with space. 
So I consider that my experience here and my experience coming from a Eastern European country with a lot of issues on the freedom of speech, democracy, and internet can be helpful for the European pirates. Therefore, please cast your vote accordingly. The next candidate is Dario Castagne, and I'd like Denis Royo to be ready. Good morning, everyone. Uh, in first place, let me apologize because you're going to listen to a presentation, a short presentation full of cliches and topics already set. So let me present myself. I am Dario Castañé from Spain. I'm the lead candidate of the Co Confederación Pirata too. Uh, I am the Pirate Movement Science 2010. And well, I want to participate in the board of the European Pirates to bring a, a stronger movement in all Europe, working together. Also to, to bring liquid democracy and direct democracy to the European level, so we can go work to a better way to work to, to work all. Uh, well, that's, that's all. I'm not going to take longer your time. Thanks. The next candidate is Dennis Royo, and I'd like Fabian Miranda to be ready. Hello. Um, unfortunately, Dennis cannot be here, and so I'm uh, presenting him for you and giving you some reasons uh, not to be against him. Uh, that's the purpose of approval voting. For, vote for everyone that you have no reason to be afraid of. Uh, Dennis is better known as Jaromil. He's an uh, long-term uh, media artist and uh, hacker, in, and he's living in Amsterdam, although he's uh, technically Italian. And uh, he's been, uh, he's the creator of several uh, open source tools like uh, Tomb, which is a file disk encry encryption software. He's uh, author of the Dynabolic Linux distribution. Uh, so he's uh, well known in, in the open source and the hacker scene. But uh, with all those things, he still finds time to do useful things because he's pretty good at organizing and, and delegating uh, jobs and, and, and doing all of things uh, at the same time. And uh, I'm very proud that uh, I, I convinced him to participate in the Italian Pirate Party because he was the kind of type that would say, oh my god, a, par a party, never. And uh, instead, he turned out to be a very good head of technology. And uh, he's also one of our uh, delegates to the PP International. So uh, I give a hands up to, uh, for Denis Royo, aka Jaromil. Thank you. The next candidate is Fabian Miranda. And I'd like Gilles Bordelet to be ready. Hello to everybody again. I am here to remind you about Fabian. I also want to tell you about uh, his work as writer. Fabian is a semi-professional writer and he, he was fighting against a, a big corporation in Spain called Sky. They are working uh, about um, copyright and against the authors or, or writers, and he, he, we are very proud about him. So please take, take him in your mind. Thank you. The next candidate is Gilles Baudelet, and I'd like Grigory Engels to be ready. Hi everyone. Um, yeah, Gilles Bordel is my name. I live in Germany. It makes me a German pirate, although I'm French. Uh, means I speak at least three of the relevant languages. I think I need for the job. Um, why do I get things done? Um, I'm good at organizing stuff, and which is why I propose. Well, I just offer my candidacy for this job because I consider it. Um, it's not the front row, and that's perfectly fine for me. I, 
I'm here to to help the PPEU get organized. And um, I mean, it's, the PPEU is going to be coordinating activities between all of the um, pirate parties that are members of it. So I think that's exa exactly what I do. Um, inside of the German Pirate Party, I coordinate the work on um, Europe. I'm heading the uh, work group. Um, on, on this topic, we've released several press releases. We've written pages after pages of program. Um, so coordinating the work of many people is what I do, and communicating about this work is also what I do. Um, so yeah, vote for me. Thanks. The next candidate is Gregory Engels, and after that, Luis Cuerdo. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you all for listening to me. So my name is Gregory Engels, and I'm involved with the international pirate movement since 2009. And I'm serving for the third year since 2010 um, on a, as a co-chairman on the board of Pirate Parties International. And I'm helped a lot with the process of um, foundation and negotiation that led to this PPU uh, event today. And I would like to continue that and also to provide insight from international uh, work that I have and also help um, to make sure that the both organization, the Pirate Parties International and the Pirate Party of Europe actually share resources, um, not create so much of a, like, um, that are not running against each other, but actually contribute to m for mutual, mutual uh, success. And um, for that, I really thank you for um, having me here. Thank you. The next candidate is Luis Cuerdo, and after that, Matt Puder. Hi. Uh, I don't want to be elected, so I will keep this short. <laughs> And I will take a chance to make a claim against over engineering. Uh, I'm afraid that these words we are hearing, like boards, chairs, statutes, as Rick said uh, yesterday, they are not pirate words, they are corporate words, and that we should treat them carefully. I think that everything pirates do, nothing is written in stone, and everything is written in sand that is, awaits to be changed by the next wave of pirates. So, if you want to vote for me, I'm a hard worker, but I know other, I, I, was, I just wrote my name waiting for other more, better suitable candidates to join in, which we have very good ones from Spain, like Fabian and Dario. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I just want to wish uh, luck to those chosen, and I hope that uh, you are very successful in your goals. Thank you very much. Next candidate is Mert Pöder, and after that, Paul Bossu. So I would like Paul Bossu to also come forward. Hello. Um, uh, I'm Mert Pöder from Estonia. And um, the first thing uh, why you should uh, vote for me is that uh, uh, a regional kind of point. Uh, in Prague, there were um, all three Baltic uh, countries presented. Uh, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia. Uh, Lithuania and Latvia are gone now somehow. They are not here. I'm, I'm here. And uh, in Estonia we have built this pirate party uh, uh, during the past years and, and we have participated in local ele elections and uh, it was kind of success. I'm at the education commission in the city of Tartu and we are rocking the uh, uh, local politics there. Uh, and we plan to participate in EU elections in Estonia. And uh, kind of, uh, I think this region should be represented because uh, it needs development. And uh, I could help with that. And uh, so the second point is that uh, uh, who, uh, who am I? Like, uh, what's my background? Uh, I'm a teacher, I'm a philosophy teacher. I have a degree in philosophy and informatics. And uh, I kind of offer a different perspective, maybe, for the things that we discuss. 
and about my uh, how do I work. Uh, I could say I'm kind of practical. I think need, things need to be done, and I'm in contact with a uh, real world, like, like uh, real politics, uh, and that's why I understand what's meaningful and what's bullshit. So you can vote, vote for me if, if that sounds reasonable for you. Thanks. The next candidate is Paul Bossu, and after that, Statis Levaditis. So, hello for the, for the second time. Uh, I have the same argumentation. I'm happy that Maxime is now vice chairman. That's a, a great decision of, of, you, of you all. Uh, I continue to think that we, it could be very good to have a Belgium Pirates in the board. Uh, I'm happy to, to work with all those people, and uh, I believe in you. The next candidate is Statis, and after that, the last candidate, Tomasz Stowinski. Hi, everyone. Uh, it is very nice to be here and meet pirates from all over the world. Uh, my name is Stathis Livaditis. I am a member of the board of PPGR, Pirate Party of Greece, also a member of the team of the Pirate Times, uh, the new service of uh, the PPI since the beginning. Uh, also, I'm a candidate MEP for the Euro elections, uh, although it is not secured yet that the Pirate Party of Greece is going to participate in the Euro elections just because of economic reasons. Uh, so, I'm asking everyone here in this room if you can please donate for PPGR on the website elections.pirateparty.gr, also any other pirate parties that are in need of donation. Thank you very much. And the last candidate, Tomasz Stowinski. Hi, my name is Tomasz Słowinski. I come from Poland, Polish Pirate Party. Uh, I am a vice president of Polish Pirate Party. I have some experience with politic uh, politics. I have worked for a, a, a Polish Minister of Transportation and also uh, I was assistant here in Parliament. Um, I'm going to take a part of uh, election to the European Parliament also. Um, I'm interested in uh, uh, human rights issues like and uh, Eastern partnerships, uh, like uh, practically uh, the relation with Ukraine and uh, it is possibility to, uh, of integration with Union. Uh, because of my profession, I'm a journalist also. Uh, I, I also interest the issue of copyrights and uh, the reform of it. Uh, because, because of my passion, I, uh, I always uh, been driven that passion uh, and in everything I do, I believe I will be an excellent candidate uh, for the board of European pirates and uh, being uh, uh, a great representative uh, of not only Poland but also uh, the countries of the CEO called New Union. Thank you very much and please vote for me. These are all the candidates. We will now proceed with the election. Once again, this election will be on paper. And please make sure to note down the delegation on the voting sheet, as this is an open election. Some delegations forgot to note down their, uh, their names or their delegations on the voting sheet. Also, if your delegation has more than one vote and you are not voting in the same way, it is important that each delegate also writes down their name. Otherwise, the country is enough. Um, the voting sheets are being distributed right now. Please note that if you make 
few crosses, it will take a lot of uh, continuing elections in order to elect five people. So please vote for each candidate that you find suitable. After the election has been finished, we will proceed with a motion from Germany. Uh, Germany has proposed a motion to elect a candidate for the Commission presidency that is going to run on behalf of the European Pirate Party. So um, as soon as the vote has closed, they will present this motion and there will be a brief discussion on it. We are already quite short on time, so I would like all the delegates to use this time to make up their minds also about this motion and to keep any discussion on this motion as brief as possible. Are there any delegations that have not turned in their voting sheets? Please raise your hands now. This is your last chance to turn in your voting sheets. No way. <laughs> and the voting is closed. No, okay. Are you still voting? Okay. Is there anybody who has not turned in their voting sheet? Please raise your hand. Okay, that doesn't seem to be the case. Now the voting is closed. I would like everybody to stay as uh, wonderfully calm as you, as you have up until now. This is very important that you keep quiet. Shh. Thank you. Now I uh, give the floor to Germany to present their motion for electing a candidate for the EU Commission presidency. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, Markus from the German Pirates. Uh, we had on Monday uh, a meeting of the delegation to prepare um, this assembly here and we came up uh, with a discussion if it might make sense to nominate a candidate for the uh, um, European Commission like other European parties do that also. We had a very interesting discussion, so we thought uh, it might be a good thing to discuss this with all of you. Um, from our point of view, um, you have the possibility to present a candidate who hopefully then will be invited if there are any TV shows um, or um, uh, podium discussions or something like that um, to get in there and um, yeah we would like to hear what you think about it um, we have also uh, uh, tried if we decide to to nominate one we have talked to Peter Sunde um, maybe some of you know him he's one of the uh, Pirate Bay founders and uh, worked there uh, and he said that he would do it. Um, on the other hand, uh, we have heard uh, that uh, maybe Amelia would like to do this job and I think they are both awesome and the suggestion from the Germans would be if it is uh, or that we uh, maybe nominate two candidates. A personal note from me, we see it with the old presidents that they were totally overloaded uh, loaded and weren't able to control their commissioners, so they got totally crazy uh, with ACTA and stuff. So it might be a good idea to have two candidates for this position. And yeah, that's, that's a point and uh, we would enjoy to discuss this with you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we now have uh, the chance to discuss this motion. I will um, ask any delegation that would like to, to make a statement to briefly raise their voting cards so we can um, write down an order if this is necessary. So who would like to uh, comment on this? There's France, Poland, Sweden, and uh, Switzerland. Austria, okay, France. Poland, Sweden, Switzerland, Austria, anybody else? That doesn't seem to be the case, so France has the floor. 
Yes, uh, I just wanted to see. I think it's a really a great idea because uh, it's really the occasion to to show that um, the, the parliament and uh, then the candidates uh, for, for the parliament election has uh, then uh, really uh, more power or, uh, in front of the of the commissions and to to give some more legitimacy to uh, the, the president uh, of the commission from the, uh, an elected instance. So that's just. Next up is Poland. It's okay. We, we know everything and we don't have to anything to add. Next up is Switzerland. Thank you, Chair. Um, it's just a point that uh, it's a position for one person and uh, having two candidates doesn't make uh, sense for us. We support like one candidate only. Right now, we're only discussing whether or not to nominate a candidate at all. I, I agree, but uh, there was uh, the option of uh, discussion of uh, having two and we push for just having one candidate. Next up is Sweden. Thank you. I do not think this is the time to choose ahead since we are already late and this is a great discussion that needs time. Uh, it might be worthwhile to discuss it, but we don't have the time to discuss it today and we therefore don't think we should. And next up is Austria. Yeah, um, I would like to say the same. Uh, it's a great idea to, uh, to vote international ca uh, candidates uh, but uh, not right at the moment, I would say. Are there any more comments on this motion? This doesn't seem to be the case, so we proceed with the vote. Now we're just voting on whether or not to, uh, to nominate any number of candidates for the Commission Presidency, yes or no. I will ask for yes votes, then for no votes, and then for abstentions. Please keep your voting cards raised until I tell you to put them down. Who is in favor of nominating one or more candidates for the Commission Presidency? Who's next to Switzerland? So we have France, Finland, Austria, one vote from Iceland, from Arnaldo, Estonia, Switzerland, Croatia, four votes from Germany, Belgium, Poland, Italy, Greece, two votes from Young Pirates of Europe, Czech Republic, Catalonia, and Spain. Okay? You may take down the voting cards. Who is against the motion? Please raise your cards now. That is Luxembourg and three votes from Sweden. And now the abstentions, please. That's Norway, one vote from Iceland from Thorgnir, and Romania. And Netherlands. Netherlands. Thank you. You may put down the voting cards. There were 20 votes in favor, four against, and four abstentions. So that means we're going to elect one or more candidates for commission presidency. And any delegate may now nominate somebody. Are there any nominations? I see Spain. OK, question? Uh, we would like to, to move this, this election to our assembly. So not decide right now the candidate to, to, to take this information to, to our party and take the decision later. 
As far as I know, there will not be another assembly before the European elections, so we can only vote on this now. And uh, you may, of course, uh, ask to have this point put off the agenda, and then we can vote on it. But we, I, I believe we already voted on this because the majority was in favor of electing them. Catalonia? Um, yes, uh, isn't it possible to have online assemblies, as far as I know, uh, from our statutes? So we could, if we wanted to, right, to decide this, if it's uh, important enough. Okay, it is technically possible, so we're going uh, to vote on postponing this. Who is in favor of postponing this vote to the next, uh, to the next General Assembly? Please raise your voting cards now. We're, we're going to finish this vote and then you can have more questions. So who's in favor? That's Sweden and Catalonia, Iceland. Okay, uh, please put your voting cards down. We have a procedural motion to move this point off the agenda and have it uh, decided at the next General Assembly. If there is another general assembly before the uh, European elections, so uh, Catalonia and Spain are proposing to not nominate a candidate for European Commission presidency today. There is a, a question from France. Yes, uh, I would like to know then when is the next general assembly because I totally agree uh, to Spain and Catalonia, but uh, then I would like to have uh, an assembly before the election because after it's nonsense. So well, I really please just make sure in the promotion procedure that we that it's uh, said that the general assembly has to take place before the election. Thanks. As far as we know, there is no general assembly before the elections. It is nine weeks until the elections. I would say it is very unlikely that a uh, general assembly will be organized before then, but Poland would like to comment on that. But what about the online assembly, as uh, Catalonia proposed? Okay, uh, the, the chair uh, is not uh, aware of whether this is technically possible or not, but I suppose that the delegates are. So uh, I propose that we just proceed with, uh, with voting on um, taking this off the agenda for today. And whether or not it will be fixed before the election is then up to, the, uh, to PPEU because um, it is not possible to, to make any promises on whether this is going to happen afterwards. So would you like to uh, keep up this vote? We can share a tool if you want. Our voting, used, we used to use that if we, if we want to, to make a, a virtual election. Okay. Um, once again, we are just discussing whether or not to put this off the agenda or not. It is not going to be, there's not going to be time for a discussion on how uh, to technically uh, make it feasible to elect a commission candidate before the elections or not. So today, we are only going to vote on whether or not we want to elect a commission president at this assembly. And if we don't, it is up to the PPEU, up to the new board to realize an uh, election in any other way, but we're not going to discuss how this will happen today. So any uh, further comments should not be on the procedure of how to make a vote afterwards. Please. Yes, but, uh, but I think it's re really re extremely important for the votation to know if there is going to be an, an, an extraordinary assembly or not, because if we can vote it for, for, uh, for in internet, we can, we can do it uh, another day. And some people will change the vote, I think. It's imp really important, I think. I understand that this is important to know, but I also don't think it is possible for us to give a definitive answer on this today. Please. No, 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 no. Eventually, it is also possible that the board chooses the, the, the delegate. Yes or no? Not the, the candidate. 
the can Sorry, the candidate. If, uh, if the assembly decides that the board should choose a candidate, then this is possible. The next is Finland, and then Switzerland, and then Germany. Um, I think the last vote was already about if we are going to vote on this uh, head of the, for, for the commission. We already voted on that. So let's just get on with this and start voting. Um, I also propose to, to close the speakers list. Is anybody opposed to this? Yes? Uh, you're not a delegate. Is any delegate opposed to closing the speakers list? Anybody who wants to be on the speakers list will still get their word. That doesn't seem to be the case. So the speakers list will be closed. We have uh, three more comments from Switzerland, Germany and Catalonia. Is that correct? Okay, Switzerland. Thank you very much. We have 200 or 300 people here. The, the momentum is now. Thank you. Germany. Fabio. Es muss rot leuchten. Ich kenne mich da nicht so aus. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say, um, if we do not vote on this now, then uh, there might be um, a candidate for the commission, or there might be not. So nobody can say it for sure. So if you want one, and we just voted on this, you should um, vote on this today. That's my opinion on this. Hi, I would like to propose that what we vote is not to postpone this uh, uh, thing, but that we postpone it and ask, the council asks formally to the board that they uh, organize this ex uh, uh, extra or additional uh, online assembly only f to decide that. Okay, uh, we have a motion to postpone the vote on commission presidency candidate today and to formally ask the board to organize an online assembly before the elections to facilitate this vote. I will now ask for votes in favor, against and abstentions. Who is in favor of this motion? Okay, I will repeat the motion one more time. Please pay attention. The motion is to postpone the vote and not vote on whether or not uh, on electing a commission presidency candidate today and to formally ask the newly elected board to organize an online assembly before the election to facilitate the nomination. Who is in favor of this motion? So we have Austria, Croatia, Poland, Italy, Czech Republic, Catalonia, Spain, and the Netherlands. You may now put down the voting cards. Who is against this motion? Please raise your voting cards and keep them raised. We have France. Finland, two from Iceland, Swiss, four from Germany, three from Sweden, Greece, and two from the Young Pirates of Europe. Greece. Okay, you may put down the voting cards. Are there any abstentions? Okay, um, 
Norway. Romania, Estonia, Belgium, and Luxembourg. We have abstentions from Norway, Romania, Estonia, Luxembourg, and Belgium. We have eight in favor, 15 against, and five abstentions. That means the motion is rejected, and we're going to vote on nominating commission presidency candidates today. And now I hand over to Jochen for the results. I've got the results for the further, for the further board members. Um, there were 28 votes cast. Um, all of them were valid. Um, and I've got the situation right now that for five positions, seven people were elected. Um, I'll start on the top. Um, Antonis Motakis uh, achieved 22 votes. Anders Kleppe, Gilles Bordelet, and Paul Bossu received 19 votes. Christian Boulomac and Mert Pöder received 17 votes. And Fabian Plaza Miranda received 15 votes. So if you listen carefully, um, Fabian is not elected because he has the least majority. And on position five, we have a tie between Mert Pöder and Christian Boulomac. Uh, but for the rest, um, Antonis, do you want to take the job? Is he present? Uh, thank you very much, of course. Um, Anders? <laughs> Anders Klippe, is he present? Yes, I'm here. Uh, I will um, accept, please, yes. Thank you thank very you. much. Um, Gilles? Yeah, thanks. Here I am. Paul. Paul. Paul Bosu. Ah, there you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. So those were four positions, but there were only five um, positions to give away. So we now have to uh, even the tie between Christian Boulomac and Mert Pöder to decide who is going to be the fifth further uh, chairperson of the PPEU. We can do that in an open election, I think. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, first, I'd like to see um, those votes who are for Christian Boulomac. Dear delegates, uh, we are in a vote, so please everybody be quiet and uh, listen to the voting procedures. Thanks. So, I want to see the votes for um, Christian Boulomac now. So we have two from Iceland, Romania, Switzerland, four from Germany, Belgium, Poland, Czech Republic, three from Sweden, Greece, and the Netherlands. Okay, you may lower the cards. 
And now I'd like to see the votes for Mert Puder. We have Finland, Norway, Austria, Estonia, Croatia, Italy, Catalonia, Spain, and two from Young Pirates of Europe. Um, even though we, uh, uh, or at least I miscounted, but we've got 14 votes for Christian, and 10 for Mert. Uh, thereby, more people want to have uh, Christian in this position. And we have to repeat even this tiebreaker because he only had 14 votes. Okay, we have 28 delegates, and he got 14 out of 28 votes. That's exactly 50%. So none of the candidates are elected, and we are now going to repeat this election. Oh, um, sorry, our fail. Uh, we don't have to repeat anything. Um, some people abstained, obviously. So uh, abstentions are not counted in the quorum. So 14 is uh, the majority and Christian is elected. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Christian, do you want to do the job? Oh, he's out about, but uh, we'll ask him later. Okay, now that we have a board, we have something very, very important, so please pay close attention. We only have this room until two, so we need to proceed quite quickly, but I would like the guests who are sitting on the right side. Hello? Guests? Guests? Um, if you would like to get lunch, it is now your time, just the guests, just from this side, if you want to get lunch, now is the time. I will call on the others later, if everybody goes at the same time, there will just be a large queue and that would be stupid. So, now, we continue, and the delegates will remain here and do their jobs. Thank you very much. Quiet. Yes, please, if you're going to get lunch, leave the room quietly. I see all kinds of delegates jumping up. This is not good. Because we will continue, and if you're not here to vote, then your votes will not be counted. Okay, we now continue. Uh, the floor is open for nominations for the Office of Candidate for the Commission Presidency. I see that Germany would like to nominate somebody. Yeah, hello again. Um, I already mentioned it in my first statement that we have talked um, to Peter Sunde, um, Broke P on Twitter, and um, he would really like to do the job. Um, we also talked to him about uh, the possibility to do it together in the team, maybe with Amelia. Um, this idea he liked uh, more, even though, um, because uh, yeah, uh, b uh, because he made information and things available to the world. Uh, he, there is an international lawsuit open against him, so he is not really able to travel at the moment. But I think in a team together with our example, uh, for example, Amelia, it would be great. Uh, would be a great team, and yeah, I, I hope that you could vote uh, for him. Thank you. Um, just to clarify, is this a nomination for both Peter and Amelia? 
Uh, if you ask, in this case, then it is a nomination for both. Um, okay. Thank you. So we have two nominations. Are there any other nominations? That does not seem to be the case. So since this is approval voting, it is perfectly possible to nominate more than one person. We will uh, do uh, an approval voting just like for every other office we have elected. There is a question. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't want to put any doubt on the chair, but I'm, I'm really not sure if this is a person um, a candidature and, and um, election. I think we are just having a motion to nominate two people and we th uh, should um, uh, vote on this motion. Um, if, if, you if you propose this motion like this, then there is only one possibility, that is either to nominate both of them or to nominate neither of them. We can, if this is the motion the way you want to present it, then we're going to vote on it like this. I, th in that case, I misunderstood. Okay, great. So there's one motion. I don't see any other motions. In this case, we can just proceed with the vote. Now, the motion is to nominate Amelia Andersdotter and Peter Sunde as candidates for the Commission Presidency. Please raise your voting cards if you are in favor of this motion and keep them raised. Uh, now you may put down the voting cards and the votes against. That is Luxembourg. And uh, any abstentions? That's Croatia, Czech Republic, and uh, Spain. So we have one. We have one vote against that. And okay, once again the abstentions, and please raise them immediately and keep them raised. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Norway, Estonia, Croatia, Czech Republic, and Spain. So we have five abstentions and one vote against out of 28. That means we have 22 votes in favor. And that means that Amelia Andersdotter and Peter Sunde are nominated as candidates for the Commission Presidency. <laughs> Great. We have no time. Amelia will have the chance to, to make some final remarks. Uh, we have one more thing on the agenda, and that is the decision of the official logo of the European Pirates. This has been debated at great length, and there have been, uh, some, pre has been some preliminary voting on this. Um, there have been six proposals, proposals A to F, that unfortunately we do not have on the screen right now. But uh, the first one is uh, the European Pirate Party logo A that received 10 points in the preliminary scoring. The second one is the European Pirates logo B that received nine points. The third one is the European Pirates logo C that received eight points. The fourth one, number D, with five points. And the fifth one, E, with four points. And the sixth one, F, with four points. You should all know which, of, which logo is which if you have prepared for this conference accordingly. But anyway, there is a question. Um, when are you this number? Micro. <coughs> Micro. Microphone, please. Please use your microphone. Uh, where are you reading this from? Because the uh, preliminary results are on the wiki and they don't correspond with the numbers you're saying. Okay, then uh, I followed the link below it, but I suppose this was not uh, the most recent version. 
Um, okay, I have results for the logo selection process. Is this the correct ones with A28 and so on? Uh, if you tell me the line of the pad, like maybe I can it's paste it for you. It's not a pad. It's a wiki uh, logo results. If, if the ones I just read out were wrong, then uh, are the ones where A has 28 and B has 3 and so on, is that the correct one? I think so, yes. Okay, then I was uh, referring to an old version of the wiki. One minute, please. Can you put uh, that link to that uh, um, to the minutes or something? On the agenda, uh, there is a link, and uh, it's on point number eight of the agenda. There's a link, and I was referring to the wrong wiki page, so there shouldn't be. Uh, I'm sorry if this caused any confusion. I will now read out the pre preliminary voting results from the new version. This is the one that is linked to in the agenda. Uh, and I've read it in the chat in the uh, PPIU uh, minus results pad. You already know. Okay, once again, the first logo proposal A in the preliminary selection had 28 votes, B had three votes, C had zero votes, D had 19 votes, E had 19 votes, and F had three votes. Okay, does every delegation now know which logo they want to vote for, so we can proceed? Great. Okay, so we will uh, eat one by one ask uh, which delegation approves of each of the logos and then we will formally vote on the one that uh, has the most votes. So, may I have your attention please? There's another question. Yeah, you are, uh, as you are saying it looks like it's approval voting but the uh, procedure to uh, vote the logos was not organized like that. Every party would assign three points, two points or one point. It's just to make it clear. I, I have a suggestion. No, please. Ah, she uh, told I, me I, it's okay. Everything is clear. Just give me one minute. Thank you. Okay, I have forgotten one thing. We also need to vote on the option that all of the proposals are rejected. And once again, this is not an approval voting, so each delegation should pick one motion to vote for. So I will ask for each, uh, each of the uh, proposals for the logo separately, just the yes votes, just who is in favor. Then I will ask who is in favor of rejecting all of them. And then, unless uh, rejection of all of them has gotten the most votes, we will do one final vote on the logo with the most supporters. Okay, so we start. Who is in favor of logo A? Please raise your voting cards. Okay, um, please keep them raised. That's 20 votes. Now you may lower your voting cards. Who is in favor of proposal B? That's three votes. Who's in favor of proposal C? Please put, put down the voting cards. Who's in favor of proposal C? None. Who's in favor of proposal D? That's seven votes. Who's in favor of proposal E? Jan? 
Once again, this is not approval voting. You may only vote for one proposal. Okay, we already have more votes than there are delegates, so we're going to do this again. Each delegate may only vote for one proposal. Once again, we start with proposal A. Who's in favor of proposal A? Please raise your voting cards and keep them raised. That's 18 votes in favor of A. Who's in favor of B? Please lower the voting cards. Who's in favor of B? That's three votes. Who's in favor of C? None. Who's in favor of D? Two votes. Three votes. Please lower the voting cards. Who's in favor of E? Please raise your voting cards now. That's two votes. Please lower the voting cards. Who's in favor of F? None. Who's in favor of rejecting all the proposals? None. <laughs> So, there have been 18 votes in favor of A, that's the most votes, so we're now going to vote on this proposal alone, so I'm going to ask for vo yes votes, no votes, and abstentions. So, who's in favor of accepting proposal A as the official logo of PPEU? Thank you. Who's against? Who's against? None. Who is abstaining? That's Estonia, Poland, Czech Republic, three votes from Sweden, and the Netherlands. That's seven abstention. So the logo is accepted with 21 votes in favor and seven abstentions. Thanks. Now uh, we have one more thing, uh, the decision on approval of observer members. There are applications, please, we are almost done. And, we've almost 12 minutes. and we only have 11 minutes to go. So uh, there are applications for observer membership from pirate parties of Bavaria, Bremen, Pirate Parties International and P Partido Pirata Portugues. Now the office of the uh, members of the European Parliament proposes that um, offices regarding observer members will be to postpone all decisions on observer membership until the next council meeting to allow the board to review the applications. Is there a counter proposal or would somebody like to comment on this? Yes, Germany, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so our proposal would be um, to, um, uh, to, to talk about this now and do, do not move this item from the agenda because it's important for these organizations to become a member uh, right now. That was what they were preparing for. That is why they are here. And uh, we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't move this because uh, people are already traveling here and everything is arranged. So why don't we just uh, vote on this? Okay. Um so there is a proposal to move this. I will just uh, give you some information. We have this room for nine more minutes. Also, the lunch is going to go in nine minutes. And um, <laughs> I will just like to vote on this proposal right now. And uh, each delegation should have made up their mind. So the proposal is to postpone this to the next meeting. Who is in favor of this? Okay, we have uh, France, Finland, Norway, one from Iceland, Estonia, Romania, Croatia, Belgium, Poland, Italy, three votes from Sweden, Greece, and the Netherlands. Who is opposed to postponing this? 
Romania was already in favor of postponing. Okay. So who is against postponing? Please keep the voting cards raised. That is Austria, Switzerland, four votes from Germany, and Catalonia. Are there any abstentions? You may lower the voting cards. Any abstentions? Luxembourg, one vote from Iceland, two votes from the Young Pirates of Europe, and Spain. Sind das jetzt schon die oder was? Ja. Oh, das habe ich ganz falsch aufgeschrieben. Sag mir doch Bescheid. Wir haben es hier auch Ich habe es hier aufgeschrieben. Ja, okay, whatever. Okay, that is uh, 16 votes in favor of postponing, six against and six abstentions. So, uh, this point on the agenda is po uh, postponed. I would like to uh, give Bruno Kram the uh, opportunity for a two-minute statement. And then, if she is here, Amelia Andersdotter. Yeah, thank you very much for this chance. <clears throat> uh, just to explain what it's about, it's about um, the Trans-Pacific Trade Investment Partnership. I'm in Germany, uh, EU election candidate and also the coordinate for actions against TTIP. As most of you know, is this Trans-Pacific Trade Investment Partnership, formerly known as Transatlantic Free Trade Agreement, a free trade agreement which is um, actually the biggest will make the biggest free trade zone of the world without any participation of the people of Europe and USA. There's no transparency in the whole um, negotiation about this free trade agreement. In fact, it is an assault against democracy, giving legislation, lawmaking um, for corporations. As NGOs in Europe has not found a way to to together define one day where we do demonstrations and actions. Uh, we decided in Germany to do all over Germany on April 19th demonstrations and um, we thought it's a great chance to ask you guys here because you come from all parts of Europe to join us um, on the April 19th to organize demonstrations against this trends Pacific uh, Investment uh, Trade Partnership. Uh, we pirates should do that as we did once with ACTA. Here's a big chance. First the people, then the corporations is our slogan. Let's kill this ACTA zombie one last time. Let's join on EU streets on April 19th. Who needs more information, please just come in the lunch break to me. Thank you very much. Is Amelia Andersdotter still here? No? In that case, I close the meeting now. There are going to be, uh, there's going to be conference programs starting at 2 o'clock here, also in the other room, uh, Q2. And also the Young Pirates of Europe are having a conference program. You should have received their program. Uh, their talks will continue in five minutes in room A. 3H1, I think, it should be on your program. Also, you are all invited to join the Young Pirates of Europe's weekend program that will take place Saturday and Sunday outside of the European Parliament at BIR. The um, address of this venue is also on the sheet that you have been given on upon registration. There will be more uh, policy talks and so on going on at this event. And I thank you all for participating in the founding of the European Pirate Party. Thank you. Thank you.